kids, welcome to Funky Science. I'm Professor TJ. And her sister Nelly Wen. And today we're going to do an interesting experiment. Hiya! But before we start, let us tell you something about this experiment. In this experiment, we will show you how to make a bubbly brew. We will use the power of density to show you wonders of science. P.S. This is not magic. This is what we will require. Water, oil, salt, one tall clear glass, and food coloring. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time. So now you're ready. Yes. Ready to start? Yes. So what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Take some good color and pour some into our glass. And then help you. There you go. And now we have colored the water. Then I want to take this oil and pour some into the water. Oh. Does it come to the top? Yeah, that's nice. It doesn't need to overflow. Yeah? Yeah. Then using our spoon, uh -huh. I want to that was so cool. <laughs> pour salt into how much? Let's pour a teaspoon for now. Pour salt and then see what happens. Oh, it's okay. Just look at it. Can you see coming back up and Density is how tightly packed matter is in an object. Different substances have different densities. When water and oil are put in the same glass, the oil seems to float to the top of the water. This is because Oil is less dense than water, so it settles out on top. When a substance is denser than oil and water, it will settle out on the bottom of the glass. When you add salt in the glass, a bubble of oil is formed around it. Because the salt and the oil put together are denser than the water, the bubble sinks to the bottom. But when the salt dissolves, the bubble of oil floats back to the top because it is less dense than the oil. I hope you at home were able to do this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye! Bye.